All right, so this is going to help you for screen four and for screen five. So the directions say put the properties in order from first to last to solve the equation. So we're putting them in the order that we use them from first to last. So if I look at this step here, there's my equation and the property is given. That's not a property, but they just gave us the problem. So we're not going to worry about that. Now I have to figure out what did we do down here that changed from up here? What looks different? Well, the right side of the equal sign looks the same. But if I look at the left side, that definitely changed. And if I'm getting rid of parentheses, I know that has to be the distributive property. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the distributive property up because it's the first thing that I used. Now when I go down to this one, I have to figure out what changed from the previous step. Again, if I go from here to here, the left side looks exactly the same, but the right side changed this time. And again, I know if I'm getting rid of parentheses, it has to be the distributive property. So the second property I used was, again, the distributive property. I'm going to go down. Um, I'm seeing what changed from here to here. And it kind of looks like two things change, like both sides change. And if I'm looking, I no longer have an X, the 2X, over on the right side. And I went from a 6X to a 4X here. So that means I had to subtract 2X going um, on from both sides of the equal sign, which is the addition property of equality. If I add or subtract the same thing from both sides of the equal sign, it has to be the addition property of equality, which is already there. Now, if I go down here, I have 4x minus 10 equals 4, and then my next step is 4x equals 14. Obviously, what happened was I had to add 10 to both sides of the equal sign to get to this guy down here. And again, if I'm adding or subtracting the same number from both sides of the equal sign, I know it has to be the addition property of equality. And then this last one, it's already given to us. Um, through the process of elimination, but if I have 4x equals 14 and I'm getting x by itself, if I'm dividing by 4 on both sides, that's going to be the multiplication property of equality because dividing by 4 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 fourth. So this is going to be my order. Now use this to help you with screen 5 as well.